It's Saturday night, the busiest night of the week for club scene. Kelly is always the life of the party, but tonight her behavior has become reckless and unethical. Despite Miles' warning, Kelly continues to spiral out of control. She is drinking on the job, giving away alcohol, and completely neglecting her job responsibilities. Kelly is so impaired that she is starting to become offensive to Miles as well as the other patrons. Sarah decides to make a surprise evaluation and is quite disturbed by what she notices. Due to Kelly's behavior, Sarah is faced with a huge ethical dilemma. Will she make the decision that is in the best interest of the business or will she have an ethical lapse? She reaches out to her sister Carol for some advice. In the end, Sarah makes the right adjustments for both employees and the business. Hey Kelly, my shift is almost over. Did you make sure you submitted your orders on time so you don't run out of anything tonight? Uh, oops. <laughs> I totally forgot, Miles. But hey, I should be fine. You want a shot before you go? Uh, I don't think that's smart, Kelly. It's a really busy night for us. You shouldn't be drinking on the job. Oh, Miles, just let loose a little. Nothing's gonna happen. I have everything under control. I'm worried about you, Kelly. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Attention, everybody. Shots on me. Woohoo! Yay, Kelly. Thanks. Hi, Sarah. What are you doing here? I suppose I can ask you the same, Miles. I thought your shift was over. Well, it is. I was just sticking around to look out for Kelly. She hasn't been herself lately. I'm a little worried. I know that she's been having quite a time tonight. I decided to pop up on her to see how things were going. And I must say, I'm quite disappointed in what I've noticed. She doesn't even notice that I'm here. I'll just sit back and watch a little longer. We'll be closing soon. So I'll stick around and see what happens. Mm, all right. Good night, Sarah. I'm going to go ahead and clock out and go home. You have a good night, Miles. Uh, excuse me. There's some broken glass here that I almost fell and cut myself on. Yes, and there's a spill here and there that I almost slipped on. This place is a mess. <laughs> Okay, if you're so worried about it, won't you guys clean it up? <laughs> I'm busy. Really? Where's your manager? I'm going to complain. This is ridiculous. Yeah, how rude. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, Sarah, what are you doing here? What is the meaning of this, Kelly? This place is a mess. I've been sitting and watching you all night. Drinking with the patrons, commingling, being outright rude to everyone, including Miles. This is unacceptable. You're done for the night. In fact, you're done until further notice. I'll give you a call when I'm ready to deal with this situation. Oh, Sarah, I'm so sorry. Just go home, Kelly. We'll talk later. Good night. Carol, I just don't know what I'm going to do about this Kelly situation. I'm at my wit's end with this girl. She's drinking on the job, costing the company money. She's not taking care of any of her responsibilities. She's forgetting to order our products. Everything. I even had a couple patrons come and complain and said that she was making offensive comments and being rude to them. I go there, there's broken glass all over the floor, spills everywhere. I mean, I just don't see any reason to keep the girl. Well, let me ask you this, Sarah. Do you guys have an established code of ethics set up for your employees? An established code of ethics? What do you mean? I mean specific rules set up for your employees to follow no, so they know what to do and what not to do and what's expected of them for their job performance. You have to implement these things and train your employees. 
What kind of programs do you guys have set in place to teach your people what you expect of them when it comes to acting professionally? Hmm, that's a good question, Carol. We don't really have any specific programs besides the original training, you know, when they first start. Are you saying I should maybe set up a program or a training session to teach them about our code of ethics? Because, I mean, we have one, but I'm not sure if they're aware of it. That's the problem, sis. They must be aware of it, and they have to agree to it. I mean, it's all part of the job. If they don't agree to it, it really doesn't have any standing. Hmm, it's something to think about. I think I'll call a meeting in the morning with our head bartenders, Kelly, and of course Miles, and we'll go over this and let Kelly see exactly what we expect of her before we take any further action. I think that's a wonderful idea. Good morning, everybody. How are you guys doing today? I'm good, Sarah. How about yourself? I'm doing good, Miles. Kelly, how are you this morning? I'm doing great, Miss Sarah. I first wanted to apologize for my behavior this last weekend. I know it was totally unacceptable, and I can assure you that it'll never happen again. Well, I appreciate you saying that, Kelly. In fact, if you'll take a seat, I'll go ahead and get to the reason why I called you guys here this morning. The behavior I observed this last weekend here was just totally unacceptable. So, I took it upon myself to also evaluate us as a business and what we were doing for you guys in reference to educating you on what's expected here of you at scene. Okay? What I've concluded is that we needed to go ahead and reestablish our business code of ethics and conduct here for our employees. What I have is a list of our values here at SEEN. It also has our mission statement listed as well as what we're expecting of you as a professional and what your job description here while working at SEEN is going to be. Okay, these are the principles that we stand on as a company and as an organization as a whole. And everyone that is employed here is expected to follow these standards. I also have set up another training session for this weekend where you guys can actually get a hands-on take of the standards and what's expected of you and actually get a trainer to go over these step by step with you just in case you have any other questions or concerns. Any feedback is also welcome from you guys, okay? So don't hesitate to let me know what you think about this. And also at the bottom, there's a space for you to go ahead and sign saying that you acknowledge that this is what we expect and this is the conduct that you will implement going forward, okay? Does anybody have any questions? No, Sarah, everything looks good to me here. No, Sarah, everything looks fine. Alrighty, so if we can get those signed, you guys can go ahead and get things set up for tonight's crowd. 